G'day YouTube and welcome back to Step by Step Back to Basics, our beginner guides to 18650 batteries, part three. Today we're going to be talking about battery testing and mainly checking the capacity of those batteries that we just purchased. Um, there are other tests that you would normally have to do with recycled batteries. Um, but because we've sourced good quality cells and to save you from buying the additional equipment, we can actually skip a couple of steps because we have bought new cells. Uh, one of those things we need to skip, or you can skip if you like, is checking the returnal resistance. But on all new cells, all the same cells, um, the resistance is going to be the same. You could buy one of these internal resistance testers. If you do want to get one, make sure you get a double prong one. They're the ones that truly do it, but they are not cheap. They're anywhere from $100 to $200 to get a good one. So, um, but when you do check these batteries, and I have done that on several occasions, these particular type of batteries, you all, I get always around <laughs> 0 0.45 which is crazy. They're within, you know, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.43. They're always around that. Um, it's, they're, they're amazingly good cells, these LG cells. Um, so by us sourcing good cells in the first place and by us packing our battery packs with all the same cells, this is a step we, we can miss. The percentage that you'll get a bad cell is really really low um, from these batteries i have never found one which was bad um, if they were and we'll talk about that in a little bit because you can weed out the bad ones without having to have to check the uh, resistance of the batteries so let's have a closer look at the battery testing so here are some cells i've just finished testing this morning um, as you can see, these are 2,600 milliamp hour cells, but they all capacity test over 2,800. From time to time, you'll get one which is 29, and from time to time, you'll get one that's 27. But these batteries all test absolutely fantastic. I do use the uh, Zan Flare C4 chargers. There are a couple other chargers on the market. There's a uh, I think it's Ocala or something like that, but I've had one of those and it's not as good. Um, so what, you, what the process is, when you first put your cells, your um, harvested cells into these chargers, you will see a voltage that pops up as the charger wakes up the cell. And that voltage will be somewhere between two to uh, 2.5 volts because they've been sitting on the shelf and they do store them uncharged. Um, if you see one which says like zero point something, throw it away. And if you do put a battery on here and it doesn't show any voltage, throw it away as well. And so by doing that, we've just um, got rid of some bad cells straight away. I know it's hard to throw batteries away and there are some guides on showing you how to wake those batteries up or how to charge those really, really low cells to get them back up. But these are the ones which have internal problems and we don't want to use them in our battery pack because you're just weakening the overall strength of the whole battery pack. So getting back down to our tested batteries, as you can see, they're all around that 28, 29, 2700 milliamp hours. If you get any that are under like 2500 milliamp hours, don't use them in this battery pack, okay? It's just, it just weeds out possibilities of having a weaker battery pack. Will it work? Absolutely it'll work, but it won't be efficient. And we're trying to build a quality product, which is as good as something you can buy. Remember, just at a quarter of the price. So those are my tips to what you need to do. I will leave some links for this Zanflare charger. 
I'm not affiliated. I don't make any money off these links, but by te by testing thousands of these cells over the last couple of years, I can tell you these charges are great. If you go to any of the recycle company websites, you will see they all use these Zanflare C4 charges, which speaks for itself. If these guys have thousands of these charges, they obviously work and they work really well. So I just recommend them because I've had great um, work out of these. These, these, are, these are going two years later. I've had these for two years and I've tested thousands of batteries and I've had no problems with them whatsoever. So once again, YouTube, um, thanks for watching step-by-step -step back to basics. On our next part, we're going to talk about um, the 18650 battery voltages, talking 3S, 4S, 7S batteries. Um, to understand what is the best uh, voltage to use when you do build a battery pack out of 18650 cells. Thanks again and have a great day, YouTube. And remember, if you do buy cheap, you will buy twice. And keep it simple whenever possible.